Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Reagan, and I have some fun guests with me here today. Hi, I'm Maggie. <laughs> I'm Annabelle. Um, so today we're just going to be talking to you about the realities of going to Sanford University. Uh, because when I was thinking about going here, there was like no information on it. So we're going to fill you in on all the great and bad things about our school. To begin with, what I will say is that like when you're searching for a college of where you want to go, every college is going to have pros and cons to it. So even if we're saying bad things about the school, every school has bad things. You just got to weigh them when you're deciding. Decide what's most important to you. Okay, so first we'll start with why we chose Sanford. Um, you can go first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So I chose Sanford because... Well, I wanted a really pretty college. That was like one of my really big top things. Cue the construction <laughs> yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really pretty here. Plus it's in the south because I wanted it to be warmer in the winter rather than going to the north. But it's pretty cold right now. It's kind of cold. So it's proving me wrong. And I wanted a Christian college. And I wanted a small college because um, I went to a small school. So I wanted another small school. <laughs> and the Christian community um, and like just like to be surrounded by people like that so yeah yeah <laughs> I chose Sanford because one again as she said it's a really pretty campus and then also what I liked about it I looked at some Christian schools I looked at Pepperdine and a couple others and then some just like bigger state schools and what I like about Sanford as a Christian school is their requirements you need like we have these things called combo credits which we'll talk about more later but I don't feel like they force it upon you in a sense of like the requirements of how many chapels and stuff we have to go to are way less than like Pepperdine or Liberty or like other Christian schools and so because of that I feel like it fosters a community where all the people here it's not forced and I feel like the people here genuinely have relationships with the Lord and are keeping you accountable and encouraging you in that and so a lot of the time it's you deciding to go to certain things because you want to go to and so because you're forced and so that was one thing I really liked and then also the size of it I think it's a great size because it's big enough where you're still meeting new people every day but it's also small enough where like it's really easy to build community here like I've had a lot of people say it's like spoon fed to you here like there's so many opportunities to get into community with people outside of your sorority outside of your major like in every <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Sorry. and just every general area um, and like low-key I chose it because the Holy Spirit was like this is where you're going I was like all right cool so yeah real going off what Reagan said <laughs> the first thing um, I feel like because a lot of Christian colleges I didn't know this but or some at least because I'm from Kentucky there they have stuff on like or I don't even know but anyways they have stuff on Sundays so it's like some people stay on campus or there's like a church basically on campus but I like how for Sanford they like encourage going off campus for church yeah and so like almost everybody goes to church Sunday like that I know at least freshmen oh yeah and like because every morning the parking garage is empty carts are scattered people out to lunch after but church. we're all at different churches yeah yeah there's a bunch like there's like so many churches like I go to different church than they go to and they're both great so yeah. and then um I wanted like a state school at first. I wanted to go to UK where all my friends went, University of Kentucky, and I was I only applied to here and there. And oh, I really? yeah, I only oh, applied geez, to two. Dang, that's really different schools. Kentucky is like a ninety eight percent acceptance rate. Right? It's like okay, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm safe here. <laughs> and then but it was my backup. And so luckily I got in here and everything. But um I didn't like Stanford I wasn't even considering it junior year. But then I was like fine, I'll go to it because my mom wanted me to go to a Christian college. But I told her, no, I went to a Christian high school. I'm going to a big state school. I want to change it up. I don't want to be in a bubble my own life. Well, I toured Sanford, and I was like, no, I need to go here. Because <laughs> like, well. a state school would be too much after going to a Christian school third through 12th grade. Yeah. And I'm glad, yeah. because I feel like if I went to UK, even though I'd be in, like, student fellowship Christian thing, I don't think I'd have as good of a relationship. Anyways, mini rant. Basically, the Christian community is why I chose it. And the pretty yeah. campus. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll talk about like kind of expectations versus realities or things we didn't know coming in slash just like, the vibes, I guess. <laughs> I would say over 50% of the student body came from a private Christian high school, if not mm -hmm. more than that. But my roommate came from a big public school and it was a culture shock for like two weeks and now she absolutely loves it. And so like if, yeah, same with her roommate. So like if you come from a public school, you're fine. Just be aware of like a lot of people didn't come from a public school but you'll be totally fine if you did and then another thing is like football season wow there's 
<laughs> this is so true. Well, there's football games on campus. Like, go cheer the team on and all. We have tailgates. Uh, it's also a dry campus, so tailgates look a little bit different here. Yeah. I've never been at one, but you uh, have. Yeah, I've been you to You can talk here. about it. Yeah. Um, the tailgates, they, like, well, we're in a sortie, so go try it out. So we got our <laughs> tent. We got our tent. But, like, there's um, there's tents for different frats and sororities and everything. And they're, like, fun. They have catered food. They have, they paint posters for picture time. But it's not, like, uh, it's not, like, going to a tailgate at Alabama. Just don't think no. that. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing like that. <laughs> and the football games, very low attendance. But we went to play Auburn at Auburn. And everyone went to that. Yeah, that so we fun. have one big game a year. I think we play Florida sure next Florida, year. Yeah. And I yeah. will be going. Yeah. And so, well, go. and we play. Yeah. Well, I'll go. Is it at Florida? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I know we've played um, Georgia the year yeah, before. Yeah, killed. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we play one big game a year, but with that, a lot of people, while Stanford, because it's not a public state school, has a lot of people from different states. Like, my friends are from Minnesota, Florida, Texas, Kentucky, Tennessee. Like, we're from all different states. A lot of people here are Alabama or Auburn fans, yeah. and because of that, on the weekends during football season, most people are out of town at an SEC school. Yeah. But I will say, with people being gone, there's still always things to do with people here. Yeah. Like, I'd be here on weekends, and I'd still always have people to hang out with and to do. So, as much as campus looks dead, you're fine. Like, yeah. you're not just yeah. in your room all day bored. So, the dorms, like... On my tour, at least, they showed us a corner room, and it was a lot bigger than the actual dorms. Um, Did like they show you Pittman or Vail? They showed us Vail, but they okay, showed us I a corner showed room. Okay, I got showed Pittman. Oh, okay. They showed me, because my friend this year has a corner room, and it's gigantic, and they showed me, like, that room on the tour. They're not all that big. Like, this is my room. It literally, it's tiny. Yeah, but her they're room's cute. smaller than, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're cute, and they are good enough, um... Yeah. They're all different sizes. Every single room is a completely different size. Yeah, they're completely all different, different yeah. layouts. Come prepared to be flexible because yeah. no one's plans worked out how they thought. They yes, have, like, full definitely closets. Flexible. I do not. Mine's like a rod with a curtain. But my clothes are under my bed and I made it work. So you that's something out. they don't talk about is, like, how they're all different layouts. Let's yeah. talk about food. Yeah. Okay, so at Sanford, because the student body's small, how, we are expanding a lot, low-key. So, like, if you're watching this in yes. three years... Like, they're building three new housing buildings right now. That's a lot of bad construction. Uh, yeah, there's construction everywhere right now. Um, but we have one dining hall, and it's called the Calf. It's not great food. Um, I was definitely expecting... I wasn't expecting good food, but I wasn't expecting, like, what we have either. Um, like, and I, I know, like, the workers, like, work really hard and stuff, so it's, like, not really on them. I think it's just, like... It's a lot of the same, yes, that, and it's, like, a lot of the same Same. food, and so there's, like, there's always pizza, almost, um, but it's the same kind of pizza, and then, like, every, I don't know, like, Monday, Tuesday, it's always, like, chicken tenders, and so, like, you, or, like, burgers, so, like, you can always count on those things, but it definitely gets tiring eating the same things, I would say. Yeah, because we, like, we have, like, five or six stations, but there's always chicken and rice all my friends always eat chicken and rice it's like all i eat now um there's always like a carvery that's like potatoes and ham or or some sort of meat and then omelet bars are really good in the mornings there's a salad bar and then there's a sandwich station it just gets old yeah like it sounds good but the food most (laughs) of the time is fine a lots of times the rice is a little undercooked it's a little hard a little little crunchy one time my chicken was pink one time (laughs) yeah i've never I feel like for the most part, the food's always cooked, like yeah, safe yeah. to eat. It's always, and yeah. I'm right. We do have Moe's downstairs, Chick fil A downstairs, Oh Henry's, yes. Henry's an acai bowl place, Einstein and Bagels, Einstein Bagels in the library, library, and then a Freshens across campus. Yep. So there's restaurants. So how the dining money works is as freshmen, everyone has to have the same dining plan, and it's 19 meal swipes. So basically, how our calf works is you walk in. And instead of checking in at the front, you just walk in, you can sit down wherever, and then let's say I want chicken and rice, I swipe, ask for chicken and rice, go back. Let's say, oh, I'm still hungry, I want a salad, I go swipe for a salad. Oh, salad wasn't that great, I want a slice of pizza, go swipe for a slice of pizza. It all counts as one meal swipe if it's within 90 minutes, I think, yeah. of swiping. And then there's at each, like, Chick-fil-A, Moe's, whatever, there's items that are for meal swipe. So, like, a Chick-fil-A sandwich with fries and a soda that's a meal swipe but then if you want like 
a fruit cup with it or if you want like a smoothie bowl that's your dining dollars and we have two hundred dollars of dining dollars per semester and the 19 meal swipes refresh each week buy some like groceries for your dorm if you can because when the calf's yeah. not hitting it's definitely nice oh, to have like fruit in here or something this is yeah. good to know on the weekends all the downstairs in our lower uc which is the restaurants those foods are closed it's really annoying next topic spiritual life on campus I guess we kind of talked. We kind of touched it. Basically, what I'll explain is our what we call low key Jesus points, um, our combo credits. So in order to graduate, like a graduate requirement is you have to have sixty combo credits, um, and so you need thirty by sophomore year, thirty by once you graduate. How you get them is there's multiple options. So Tuesdays we have campus worship at ten a.m. and there's no classes on Tuesday Thursdays at ten a.m. Um, to make sure you have the opportunity to go to campus worship. It lasts 50 minutes. We do worship and then a sermon. And then you can do this thing called a cadre. So there's community cadres and there's campus cadres. Campus cadres, we're in one right now. Are you in one this semester? Okay. Most of them, you're with a professor um, and you're studying a book, basically. But it's not like a book in the Bible. It's like a Christian book about random topics. And then the service cadres are like community service. You're working for nonprofits. I think I'm gonna do that next semester because that's what I'm working with right now. So okay. it's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. And you can also, they just randomly have speakers come. Or like before Christmas, I went to want to get a credit where it was like um, every language, like school, like I was in Spanish and we went and we each, like each language sang like hymns for Christmas in their language. So yeah, we very much emphasize finding your own church, finding your own college ministry outside of campus, and getting plugged into the community of Birmingham. And not just staying on campus to get fed spiritually, but also going out and seeking that yourself. People are like, come here, not everybody, but I think most like come here to like seek that Christian community. Right. And so you will find people who want to be in that and like who will pour into you because they want to be poured in as well. So like, I think that's cool. Yeah. Like I haven't really encountered anyone like blatantly mean. Like yeah, the kind right. of people that are like rude or give me dirty looks or aren't very nice, but like no one's been like a straight up bully to me because I feel like if you didn't want to go to a small Christian school, why would you come to a small Christian school? Yeah. You'll meet them one time and you say hi to them for like a month or like low key a semester. And that's one thing I've noticed too is I feel like if you seek it out, upperclassmen, especially the first semester, are very intentional to get to know you and help you out with anything you need, which I don't think is normal at all. It's like yeah. not even once in your sorority, just like in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our rush, I have an entire oh, rush yeah. vlog, so like don't we're not going to touch on that, but I'll link it if you want to watch it. If you have any questions about rush, you can comment on this video or that video and I'll, I'll answer but most of it's covered in there. Oh, okay, this is one thing I did not expect coming. I feel like Samford has a relatively easy acceptance rate, like a high acceptance rate. Yes, like it's I was not, not super aware hard. Of that. <laughs> but low key everyone here I feel like smart. Yeah. It's like, like it's definitely I was kind of surprised how smart people are here. The acceptance rate is 84%. So take I thought that it was 73. How you... mm -hmm. okay. It's like 84. So like University of Kentucky is 98. So that's a big difference. It's harder than SEC schools, but it's not like an Ivy League school. No. Um, so if you're decently smart, you'll probably get in, but also the workload's going to be harder than it would be at an SEC school. Right. It's like low-key harder than I thought. Yeah. It's hard work, but you'll get in. It's, it's a liberal arts school. And so with that, when choosing to go to a liberal arts school, you have to, they basically want you to be well-rounded educationally. So like I'm a business major, but we have required classes we take. So like freshman year, you take Cortex 1 first semester, Cortex 2 second semester, and it's analyzed text. And first semester, you're analyzing Socrates, Aristotle, Shakespeare, but there's just required classes you have to take. Um, you have to take two different English classes. So just know you're not imme immediately starting your major classes. Be prepared of like, you're, you're doing all the things, which has some pros and cons to it. Yeah, it's a lot of busy work. Yeah. It's easier than your major classes, which is a pro, but a con. It's like work that you don't care about, really. Right, because you're like, whoa. Yeah. And then you like want to blow the class off. You're like, eh, it's, it still matters. <laughs> it's yeah. still great. Yeah. Okay, so one thing about Sanford is I feel like the community here is very much, we're all busybodies, I feel like. Like one thing they preach a lot. Yes. I feel like everyone wants to get involved in everything, <laughs> and it's not sustainable. Or like for me, I felt like first semester, I had some sort of, Bible study, church service, Christian event, six days a week. 
but then you begin to neglect like your actual relationship with God because it's just like you're doing like Jesus-y things but not actually focusing on your relationship individually with him and just like communicating it with him throughout the day so like one thing I will say is like there's always stuff going on there's a bajillion things to get involved in like if you don't want to be bored you will never be bored but you also just have to be aware that like the culture of this school is like overachiever low-key it's yeah it's like number yeah. one for student engagement in the country yeah and they have flags of that everywhere but um mm -hmm. so I literally have something like five at least five out of the seven days a week still like last semester it was more I still do I'm very busy but it's like I I'd be sitting in my room if, if not right so. it's just you just gotta balance it and see what you want to focus on and what you want to prioritize oh my gosh we have to touch on this okay so we go to a Christian school what does that mean no boys just kidding <laughs> what? basically what? if you <laughs> let me rephrase She's that psycho. couple things here the ratio boys and girls that's not where it's getting at but i should mention that <laughs> 70 30 I'm girls boys. You're so, going with this. you'll see you'll see okay ring ratio my <laughs> no <laughs> ring by spring is a thing here sophomore ring okay wait, i actually ring by spring wait, my wait, junior wait. year okay. so here's where i'm getting at couple things here number one the guy to girl ratio there are a lot, we are at a small Christian school, there's a lot more girls here than there are guys. However, our grade specifically has a closer ratio than all the other grades. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. We're more 60-40, I think the other grades it are more 70-30. Like yeah. However, with that, if you are in a sorority and you need a date-to-date -date party, you have to find them two months in advance because one, finding a single guy, that's hard. Two, yeah, finding a single guy when there's 200 other girls needing a single guy, Yeah. that's close enough to your age that's hard three they are at every single formal every single weekend so they're tired be aware of that finding dates can be a challenge you'll you should be able to find one but like the ratios <laughs> secondly with the guy girl thing we on the door yeah, with the no yeah well what's secondly thing? what the no boys means if it's not visitation hours there are no boys in bail oh if you yeah. obey the rules yeah Okay. So. Yeah. If you listen to the rules. Okay. This I feel no like boys in here past 10 p.m. on weekends. <laughs> oh, yeah. Midnight on weekends. Okay. Anyway, we have visitation hours, so guys can't come and roam freely. We can't go in their dorms freely. So how it works is, it's on weekdays. Is it 10 a.m. to 10 p.m.? I think it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on weekends, I don't know the starting time of the day, but it's till like midnight. The same time, 10 a.m. till midnight on the weekends, which I believe is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Basically, how it works, if I want to have some of my guy friends over in my room, you go down, there's an RA in, like, the center of our dorm. You go check them in, and basically the guys, if, like, the guys are coming in my room, the guys turn in their student ID, and then they ask me for my phone number, and then they give them, like, a low-key like looks like a bathroom pass you'd have in high yeah, school yeah like it is a bathroom pass um, but it's like a hall pass stay in that room i don't know what happens if they're in their pass curfew but low-key if they're in their pass curfew then they're just not checked in you get um i uh, think they probably like trouble. Text. well i would assume they text or call you if they're in their pass curfew like hey probably heads up like yeah it's that's pass what curfew. oh you, you mean if you're signed in yeah, if yeah, you're signed yeah, in yeah, yeah which uh, you should be yeah pass some people in they're always out by 10 so i don't know Right, I don't, right, because I'm like, if, if you're signed in. people, if you, like, sneak people in, you'll get fined. You get in trouble if they get caught, yeah, like, the other gender in your room. And then, yeah, and it goes, like, on your record, I think. Loki, sometimes it's annoying, but at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, just sign in. It's just, like, just, it's but not it that big of a deal. Because it's, like, if I just want to go say hi to someone, I gotta... Right, for two seconds. Sign in, give them my ID. Mm -hmm. It, it's, it could be worse. Because I know some Christian schools, like, their visitation yeah. hours is two hours a day, and they have to keep the door open. At my friend's Christian school, they're not allowed to have right. boys yeah. and girls. So, like, for door. a Christian school, it's really not that strict. <laughs> One thing that is kind of nice about it is because we're not all-girls building. Past 10 p.m., we can just, like, walk around in your PJs and, like, not mm -hmm. be concerned about it. Yeah. So, like, that's honestly really nice. See, like, I showered last night at, like midnight or something, mm -hmm. and I could be walking back in my towel and not worry about a boy, yeah. like, in the hallway. Exactly. And, like, we have communal bathrooms most people in Vail do and so basically there's like on the floor like the third floor which is like the main lobby of our building there's bathroom for the guys to go to one thing that's really nice about our campus is the gates lock at 11 p.m and so it's super safe at night for girls and with that like if you're driving back and you get to campus after 11 you just they look at your parking sticker and let you in but no one that's not a Sanford student is going to be on campus past that time unless like I have a friend come staying with me so it's like very safe mm -hmm. 
Um, so you can just like go hang out in random buildings too if you want. But I feel like midnight on weekday, like it's it could be so much worse. Yeah. Also, the South, so everyone goes to cookout at like two in the morning. So that's something to do too. Oh yeah, I, guess. I didn't know the cookout was a thing until I got here. Yeah, me neither. So cookout, what a burger, Taco Bell. Yeah, Waffle yeah. House. Everything around here is open late. So go there with your guy friends if you really want to. We have any other rules? Um, it's just a dry campus, and so obviously you can't have al alcohol in your dorms, even if you're like of age living on campus. I think. And you can't like post pictures on campus. Obviously, there's alcohol on campus, but it's not supposed to be. Right. So, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a good point. Like, just because it says it, like, there's don't still gonna be. Don't expect there to everyone yeah. to obey those rules when it's, you come here but if you are coming here because you want an environment that that's not the scene that it's not like if you want to find it you'll find it at any school you go to but that's not like I have never once like I have friends who struggle with that at bigger schools of like that's the only thing they have to do whereas like because that's not the main community of people here there's always fun things to do outside of partying yeah. yeah, there's not like parties on campus, but there are people with alcohol and stuff. So it's not like a dry campus, but it's supposed to be a dry campus. Like you're not gonna walk around and see people openly with it ever. Yeah. Like I have. That'd I mean, wild. others probably have. I <laughs> oh. Okay, social butterfly. A good <laughs> point. It's a suitcase college. I don't care what people say. Stanford is a suitcase yes. college, which means people go home on the weekends because everyone lives around here. So. But not us. Not us. And they will tell you on tour does. that it's not a suitcase college. It is. It is. My mom found that out. And she's like, I don't. That's so, cause she didn't want me going to a suitcase college. Same. At least my them and my roommate live too far away to leave. So at least I have them on the weekends. Right. Like like my roommate and sweet mates, we all live nine and a half plus hours away. Yeah. So like there's people on campus always. Like don't feel like you're gonna be alone. But like fall break, leave. I didn't go home because it, I live so far and I didn't want to pay for a flight ticket. I was probably the only person on campus. Yeah. <laughs> One tip for incoming freshmen to Sanford. Yeah. Okay, Maggie. Oh, wait, you go first. I, I can go. Think. Okay, so my one tip, I think, would be to have no expectations. Like, none at all. Because coming in, I had, like, a lot of expectations about how things were going to go. Interesting. And they were all shattered, I would yeah. say. Um, I, I agree. Yeah, it was, a, it was like a shock. I was like, what the heck yeah, is going I on? I almost transferred. I yeah. Didn't, I Seriously? was thinking about it. Yeah. Personally. Doesn't mean I got the papers out or looked at any other ups. I just... It yeah, it definitely mind. like comes through your head. Yeah, not except if you're right yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Not because so. it's not a good school. It's I love it now. It's just hard at first because it's so small. Yeah, so I would say just no good advice. I would say come into it with an open mind and be okay if like people you're friends with at the very beginning you don't stay friends with. That's okay. Like, it doesn't mean you don't have value as a person. It literally means you're meeting so many different people and you're just finding who you click with the best. And it's okay to have different circles of people in different areas. My tip yeah. of advice would probably be to manage your time and, like, not to give yourself too much free time, but also to give yourself free time. Because, like, don't do class, friends, meeting, chapter, dinner. Like, have some time to rest. But also don't... My first, like month of school I found myself laying around in my bed after class and before like all afternoon because I didn't know what to do and I quickly got like unmotivated so I would like get involved or go work out or something but also make sure you have some alone time because it's a lot of like being with people oh my gosh and it yes. drains your social yes. battery so manage your time well in both ways and also if you feel like you don't have time for like to be with Jesus you do just get up a little just bit early and read your bible or before bed I do it before bed because I don't want to get up early but yeah. yeah, I would say too, going off of that, um, I'm like definitely more of an introvert. And so like even sleeping with people, like you're never alone. Yeah. So I have two roommates. Um, and so it's like, I'm just like never alone. And so like, I can't even like sleep without like, like recharging myself. Like I have to like act like the only time I feel like I'm alone is when I'm in my car, which is like really mm -hmm. weird. I like to go on drives with myself. Yeah, for I my do that too. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> But yeah, I will say overall, Sanford's a great school. Their education's really good. They're really good at finding you jobs after and finding you internships, especially like business school. Nursing school's really, really good. Uh, but yeah, it's a great school. I absolutely love it. Yes, it Recommend. Fits, fits me perfectly. Yeah, I feel like you just have to have the realities because I was like Anna while I came right. with we just very have to high expectations. Yeah. And I might be embarrassing. I don't mind. I cried a lot the first month of school um, because I missed home. I'm, eight, I'm seven, eight hours away. But I'm fine now, and I love it, so. Okay. Okay, bye. Th thumbnail, like, down below, subscribe, <laughs> follow my, I don't know what the words are.
are. I'm not a YouTuber. Hit the plus button. The yes, no, like my video. That. Give me, give me Leave comment. Leave comments. Give me, leave. Oh, yeah. Comment down below. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>